still say, I hope we, are the uh, source of any change that's going to take place in this uh, field. So, it, it's the future is out there and I think with what I've been hearing from all your plans, uh, that you're going to be opening up uh, the thing that has always been missing, which is access to the community at large to make them aware that we have this problem of adult literacy with the, the numbers. I know you, uh, th that's all boring and, and all the rest of it, but nevertheless, uh, those, those numbers are, are people, and those people uh, in terms of economy that they in turn will generate is primarily important. If you can think of all those folks we know from the statistics who are not functionally literate, uh, how with the uh, appropriate training for whatever is going to be the outcome of this COVID nonsense, then we will, um, uh, there's a benefit, I think, for, for the literacy in New Brunswick in that, uh, in that kind of future, but it's the future that you'll make. And, uh, and, I, and I, all I can think of, uh, I'm inspired in a way, by all that you're uh, they're doing to make it happen. So. The future's there. The future's yours. It's in your hands. It's in the hands of the people uh, out there. If they would just open their ears and listen to the, the fact that we've got this problem, and I don't mean just the politicians. That's, I think, sometimes a, uh, a wasted cause. It has been for me in the past, and I've had some of the best people who I thought were well connected to make things happen politically, but it never happened. And so uh, the pressure has to come from. Uh, from communities at large, right? From the people, the grassroots, they're the ones that make things happen. And I think you're laying the, uh, uh, the foundation for all of that. So all I can see is I'm inspired for the future.